concerning shooters here, blue collar prepping. A couple weeks ago, we did a little scenario where I walked back from, you know, town and the bar, what have you, in a potential electromagnetic pulse event. And in that process of doing that, there were a lot of things that I had available to me, and I had to pick and choose what I take because of the ability to carry them. And I don't know in the past, I've did some other things, and I'll, I'll put a link up if I still have that video available. But here in the back of my everyday prepper vehicle, you can see everything that I have for emergency gear. Now, I've added the snowshoes over here because it is wintertime in northern Michigan, though granted there isn't a lot of, not a lot of snow yet, but there's going to be. And if we were in a case where I had to walk home with deep snow, these bad boys will certainly make my life a lot easier. So as we go, here's our first aid kit from the dollar store that we made. Everyone's favorite tool, the hatchet, including mine. Here's my roadside emergency kit, which actually has a lot of tools in it. I've changed alternators out and blizzards at the roadside with this. Love it. Here's my antique first aid kit. Sure, there's no quick clot or tourniquets in there. However, there's an awful lot of pressure bandages, scissors, and things like that. You know, very, very necessary. In addition to that, it does not expire or go bad. Here's my winter kit which has turning or park is in it all manner of fire starting gear things and so on and so forth emergency kits rain gear then you name it my community emergency response bags this is the backpack that i used last week it has my tools in it you know water tools gas pipeline tools you know helmet safety vest there are goggles in here. There are gloves. There's a respirator. Not a respirator, but, you know, a mask to keep the dust out. And, of course, extra wool blanket and a ground throw because you never know when you want to have a picnic. It's also pretty thick. It doubles as a blanket. One size blanket. The other side goes on the ground. Bungee cord to keep it secure. All of these things. So, in the wonderful world of Facebook Marketplace that I am, the evil umpire taking advantage... I have an external frame backpack. This is a Kelty. It's an older one. It came with actually a rain cover. Get out there. I think it was 25 bucks. So this is the third one I bought in the last year. Similar shape. This has no rips or tears. It's just dirty. This one's got an adjustable frame on it. Which is kind of handy because I'm a little bit taller than most. This clip, I just threw it on there just now. It was part of this gear. And I love it. And if this stuff for next week is going to be shoved into here. And I'll show you what I did. And we'll talk about which bags I kept, which bags I got rid of. Some of these could be a good thing. Some of these are bad things. And there will be a group of labeling that goes on here. Now, why did I pick this? Well, I'm going to give you a little hint. That's for next year. One... It's because the external frame on this, if you have small children, then now I have a backpack child carrier. So my goal is going to be to get the majority of the stuff in here, hang a little bit, stack a little bit, but I still have it available where I'll be able to dump something that's not necessary. So I can make sure I take my little monkey with me. This is the discerning shootist, blue collar prepping. Be good, stay safe, can't be safe, be good and dangerous.